In the previous video, we learned how to use pre-installed fonts and in another word, so we can call it web safe fonts. And this web safe fonts, they already exist in every machine. So for Windows users, Mac operating system users, they already have this fonts. So for example, if I give this folder, which has a site.cs as an example.html files, and it opened the same file or it opened in the, this example of HTML in his machine. So it will render. So this article title will use the time new environments because it already exists in every machine. So I don't have this problem that I need to give him the font and then install it in order to render this article title with this time's new Roman font. Now, what if I want to download a custom font? So for that, I will visit this Google Fonts website and I will choose a font. Okay, let's just pick this one. Okay, click on this symbol right here and click on that and I'll have something a pop up right here and click on download. Okay, this icon right here to download the fonts. Now we have a zip file and I will drag this file into the finder. Okay, this is the font. Now let's just unzip this file using this software. Okay, I have a folder here which include a TTF. Okay, I have this file Bolob high or whatever, so I can spell the name correctly. And this is the font. So this is the font that I need to include in my project. And what is the project exactly? Is the folder. So this folder that I included, example, of HTML and CSS, is our project. Now I need to add the file fonts. Or for that, I will just first add a new folder fonts, and I will add this. Let's just drag it into the fonts folder. I just moved the, the file of the font file into the fonts folder. Now the font is inside the project. So how to use it? So from the Google fonts pop up, so this one right here, so they tell me to specify that or to use this font family below or whatever. So inside the CSS file, I just need to copy this line. Okay, I'll just copy that and use it instead of this Times New Roman. So we'll use this one. So what I'm telling my CSS here, so that I need to change or to update this each one to the specific font, but I'm not using it. So, so it just use the fallback. If I just remove the fallback here, you will see that it is the default font. So, but, so it is using this font instead of this one. Why? Because this follow by, it doesn't exist first in my machine and I'm not telling so the browser where to find it. And for that, I just need to specify it by using two methods. So the first one is a standard one. So it just tells you so that you need to copy the URL. So if you are not using it or you need to use import. Okay, let's just use first import. Okay, if I use import inside the HTML, so just telling you that you need to use the style tag inside the HTML page. Now I'm importing the font family and I'm using the URL the the link from from the web so this is the font.google api i'm using a link here and not the font that i download here but once you use this link and refresh the page you'll see that the font is changing to the one that i'm using here so this follow up high or whatever okay now let's refresh the page and i will use the other one i'll just remove that and use the other way so for the other way here is the standard so you just need to use the link tag after the css Okay, refresh the page, same here. So the result is here, if I remove it, you will not see the font used. And let's just return that again. And now I have the article title. But the problem is, so this is the way, so when I call the link, when, or, or when I call the font from the link, so this is what Google font is specified for me. And what if I want to use another method so that I want to use this font from the fonts folder? For that, there is, there is a font face. So there is a syntax inside CSS that I can use. And the syntax is font face. Then inside this font face, you need to specify the font family that you want to use. So in our case, this one, okay, let's just copy that. Okay. And I need to define the source of the file. I will go here. So um, inside the CSS, I need to go to the fonts folder. Then let's just rename that. Or let's just take the name copy that okay and i'll go to the fonts folder and i'm choosing the file here if i refresh the page you see here 
even if I'm not using any link, even if I'm not defining anything from the way that the Google Fonts is presenting to me, I'm not using the standard ones, and I'm not using the import ones, so I'm using this font face to define the font family. Then I'm defining the source on where to find the font that I will use. Okay, if I save that, if I just remove this ones right here, so you see that it's just going to the fold back. I can define another name. Okay, let's just go and choose hello world, just as an example. Okay. And as you see, so just changing the article title to the font, this one, but this is just a name and the source is what include the real font. And this is just a name. Okay. If you want to use it, for example, for the paragraph, I'll just choose paragraph, then use the same line font family, save that. As you see, it's also used for the paragraph. And if you want to use it globally, let's just specify body and then remove this H1, save that, and if it's used for the whole page.